Hi, it's Don Lindsay from the Canadian Firearms Network. And I'm standing beside a bowl of milk and the T12 thermal imager from Tory Pines Logic. This is a interesting thing here. As you can see, there's different uh, models of this thermal imaging device. And it's really quite small. It's actually just where my thumb is, just that part there. However, it comes with this uh, little pedestal. That you can uh, use it. It's threaded underneath it, so you can put this on top of a tripod or something like that. And, uh, but really, this is just, this is just a handle. It just makes it more convenient. Uh, you can hold it like this. And uh, it uses a, a CR123 battery. And I happen to have a bunch of them. They slide in through a door on the side of this. Right here. Take that little uh, cap off. Slide the CR123 into it. And those two buttons there are what operate this thing. You can change it from uh, different levels of uh, vision. You ever see when you're watching the movie Predator? G. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Have you pronounce him? Chasing that big bug thing around the forest that goes invisible. Well, this thing here is kind of like that bug. Spider guy, whatever he was there. Had in his helmet. This goes to different, uh, different things here, as you see. Mode selection. White hot, black hot, green only in color. So it's kind of like when you've seen... Uh, him sitting in the tree, flashing through, and looking at uh, all the guys walking through the forest. You can see the body heat. So it's quite an interesting uh, product. It uh, even has a, a reticle, just sort of like in a uh, red dot scope. You can uh, actually uh, theoretically put this thing on a on a, on a firearm. It's like you know really and look through it's it's an interesting thing i i uh, don't think it would work on them something with a whole lot of movement so you'd have to make sure it's not mounted on a slide it'd have to be on a sitting on a side rail or something but uh it is an interesting product uh, like i say this came from tactical imports and i'd never seen one of these things before and uh, here's the little uh, picatinny rail just a simple little outfit because uh, this like I say this just just threads into here so just that little spot there a little top block that's all you got to deal with it's pretty tiny there's hardly any weight to it and uh, the problem is though it's, it's kind of difficult for me to be able to video this you know trying to look in the end of this and trying to this is this viewer screen so it's kind of hard to, uh, to do it so what I did is I brought along a bowl of milk and as some of you may have noticed I take care of stray and feral cats who live in the uh, cottages nearby and so I'm going to use them as my captive audience because if I put the milk down they're not going to run away <laughs> But uh, many of these are, are, are semi-feral. I can, I can get near three of them or so, but uh, the rest will run. So what I'm going to do is, is uh, I'm just going to put this bowl of milk down. This will keep them occupied for a while. Let's put this here. There we go. This is a cat room. As you can see, my cat dominion I built. This little lady just has a batch of kittens in there. She's one of the, the ones that are around here that are sociable to me. Captive. Captive. Audience of cats feasting on my supplied milk. I can do my thermal imaging test. Let's see if you get this thing back to here. Okay. So we're back to the T12 thermal imager from Tactical Imports. 
And here is the unit again. Now this here is the end that uh, you point towards whatever you're looking at. And this is the other side, the viewing screen. It's going to be very difficult for me to do this because this is uh, trying to hold the video camera and hold this image, uh, this unit, and then trying to focus on this. It's very difficult. I really need three hands for this. Um, but this thing here weighs next to nothing, really. You could hang this around your neck like a keychain. You wouldn't even notice it. So let's see what we can do here. So if I can figure this thing out, press the top button. Okay, it comes on. And I'll aim it here. I'm going to shut off the light in this room. I'm going to shut off that one. And uh, I'll shut off this one too. That might help us see what we're aiming at. So I'm going to aim that over there. And then you rotate that thing a number of times. I'm not sure exactly how it works here. Let's see what we got here. What that does is it sets the settings on it. Let's see what we got. Oh. So that would be the... Uh... It's hard to see here. Oh, and there, there, how's that? Okay, so there you can see the cats. And they're glowing orange. Yeah, you see one is over there, sit, just sitting by itself. Now, there's one another setting. Black hot. The other one was white hot. Here's the green, like the Terminator guy. Yeah. Like I say, this is very difficult to hold this, turn the buttons, and do all this. So, all we need now is the guy to come up out of the tree and go, want some candy? But yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? All thermal. Okay, go back again. you notice the dot in the middle? There's a reticle in this. Kind of like a red dot scope, you know? No, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I just took it off somehow. Oh, no, it's still there. There's a button I just haven't learned. You have to press it for a... one and a quarter seconds or something. I'm not sure how it works yet. But there you can go. You can see how it flips through the different settings and... It is a cool unit. You could use this thing if you were looking for, say, you were out hunting and things had gotten dark and you happen to have a bad shot. You've got a wounded animal that you know you went in the forest. You don't want to leave it there. You're a responsible hunter. Accidents happen. Bad shot happened. But you run in the forest and now it's getting dark and you can't see it and then the animal's mixed in with all the forest. Well, you could use this. To see its body heat that's going to stand out beyond anything you know if you had somebody in your yard at night you look out you can't see them well you just stick this thing out there and look you'll pick up his body heat so it is a, it is a cool product so uh let's see get some light on here back to my cats So that's how uh, we managed to make this video. The first one you'll ever see me probably do with a, a bowl of milk. Being used as bait for cats. But it works. So there you go. That is the T12 Thermal Imager. And that came from Tory Pines Logic as the manufacturer, I guess. And this product came uh, to me from Tactical Imports, uh, who's a regular down at the Toronto Sportsman Show. But they've got some really cool guns. I've, I bought one of their uh, Bursa 9mm Thunder Pros. 
awesome deal on it and like I say you've seen this video probably for the MKA 1919 match 12 gauge semi-matic these Picatinny rails come off to put red dots on it it's a fun gun two and three quarter inch shells just whip through it so here you go thank you for watching the Canadian firearms network site and uh, check this thing out this might be a, a really cool uh, thing for to use I don't know what your application is a trapper or whatever you're into maybe you got a lot of mice in your house who knows but check it out bye